What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get to Fall Arbor Town, and now there's something going on right here. Yeah, something pretty bad. I don't know, but a girlfriend to me, she's right here. She's like, ah, oh, what a disaster. Oh, Draven, help. You've got to come with me. Well, I'm coming with you, baby. Big old buff Draven is coming right in. He's gonna show off these guns. That's right. So what's the scene? What seems to be the problem? And she's like, you see, Professor Cosmo, he got abducted by some weird guys calling themselves Team Something or Other. Those shady characters, they call themselves Team Magma. It seems as though they plan to do something with the meteorite that, prof that the professor has been researching. The professor is just too gullible. If you show the, uh, be the least bit interest in his research, he'll happily go with you anywhere without question. Draven, you've got to, you, you got to help save him. That's right. They can't be planning to do anything good with Professor Cosmo's research. We have to do something. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to head after them right uh, right away. Let's meet up that meteor falls. I'm counting on you, Draven. All righty. Okay, so uh, Baby Cakes right here wants uh, she wants her help. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna be flexing our muscles right here, and we're gonna be going into the next area right here. Um, I'm not gonna be taking a tour of Full Arbor Town. As you can see, there's a contest hall. There's this digger guy and uh, everything else in between. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Yes, the Move Maniac's house. Let me teach uh, moves to my poke or to your Pokemon. Of course, you need a, a or you need heart scales for this one right here. So we won't be going there right now. So here we are in Route 114, and uh, well, let's see the rare fossils maniac. Yes, this guy will actually like he, he's actually looking for fossils now. If you go in here. You're going to be looking all over the place, and look at that. It's in great detail. That's freaking awesome. And if you talk to this guy, I'm the Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you do you want a fossil? But the fossils around here all belong to me. None of you, none for you. If you can't go without a fossil, try the desert on Route 111. From what I've heard, the fossils buried in the sand sometimes rise to the surface uh, due to sandstorms. Well, we will be going there eventually. Uh, right now, uh, we just wanted to visit him because, you know, that's one of the dudes. Now, if you talk to this little guy right here, he's like, my big brother's the fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole all by himself. You can have this so you can dig holes just like my big brother. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves a TM-28 dig, which uh, is a very, very effective uh, ground-type move. And uh, it could be useful for uh, my good old Pokemon Vesuvius right here. You know, he's been on a little bit of a losing streak right here as of lately. And if you talk to this guy here, he's like, all my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. Sigh. If you could, if you would, please take this TM away. And we get ourselves the TM05 roar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see what this guy has to say. Bow wow wow wow. A oh, little bow wow. Okay, so that's cool. And, uh, well, let's see, uh, we can't surf. We're gonna be finding a lot of trainers right around here. So, this is good training ground for what's going to happen next. And that is training our Pokemon right here. And actually, you know what, uh, let's keep it, let's keep it like that. Because I have a feeling that these guys are gonna come out with some, uh, pretty interesting Pokemon. If you were fishing, you wouldn't stand any chance against me. So bring on your Pokemon. Alright, okay. So here we go, guys, our first battle of the episode, and it is uh, Fisherman Claude, and not Jean-Claude Van Damme, but Jean-Claude right here, and he's coming out with, uh, what was his name? Yeah, Corfish. That's a very interesting Pokemon. I've always wanted to capture one of these guys and use them on my team. I did. Got my butt kicked. Plenty of fishes out on the sea right there, and uh, yeah, Corfish is not one of them, but I do like adding them on the connection or on the collection right here now. As you can see, he's using his leer attack, being leery and all that crud. And we're gonna do the same thing again, Dragon Rage. Oh yeah, for the win, Corfish defeated right there. Oh yeah, let's see, more experience points, everything, and Vesuvius grows to level 20, finally. And he's gonna be coming out with the Whalmer, so let's go straight to the man, the myth, the legend, Raiden. The Lord of Thunder, or no? The God of Thunder. Okay. So here we go. And he's coming out with his Whalmer. So let's go with the Volt Switch since I did teach my Pokemon Volt Switch right here. As you can see, bam. 
takes care of that problem. He will not switch since I don't think he does have another Pokemon, right? Maybe. Yes, I did. Okay, so it's like if we were fishing, I would have won. That's a lie. Okay, so what's next? Let's see, what's next right here? There's there's plenty of trainers right here, so we're going to be battling all of them. And homie is like, I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there even if I'm fishing. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Here we go. Battling Fisherman Nolan, and he will be coming out with his Gaia Rados Crud Basket. So it's the Battle of the Gyarados right here. And, uh, well, Hydra 2 coming out. And he's looking like a tank right here. Hell yeah. Alrighty, okay. Uh, ooh, damn. He's throwing his Intimidate, you know. Yeah, okay. So it's going to be a little bit of a Battle of Dragon Ranges right here. Now, now that I'm doing this right here, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about a little something that's been going on as of lately, and that is the COVID-19 issue. Yeah, many of you guys are not going to school, and you're watching me. I've recently seen a boost in my subscribers, so I would like to say thank you to every single one of you guys who have subscribed to my channel, and hopefully everybody's safe. You know, practicing uh, friendly social distancing and all that stuff. If that's even a thing in the other part of the world. And, uh, well, as of right now, I'm actually pulling an all-nighter to do the better half or the better part of this whole walkthrough right here. That way, if, let's just say, we're going into, you know, the fall and good old Draven has to go back to coaching, mm, at least we have episodes, right? Right. What's another thing, too? Yeah. I'm just, I'm kind of hoping that I'm bringing a little bit of joy to you guys while watching it, while making these videos and stuff. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys are just staying at home, doing your homework, uh, not doing your homework, what was it, uh, yeah, doing homeschools and all that stuff, yeah. Um, if you guys are wondering about me, I'm doing alright right here, I'm actually doing all the videos and I'm actually doing social distancing right now, not because I'm afraid of a... The whole COVID-19 thing, more of the fact that, well, there's only two places that I go. Home and work. And since I'm non-essential, I <laughs> I have to do, uh, what what was it, Zoom and Skype. Zoom and Skype for, uh, for any kind of personal training and all that stuff. So, yeah, if you guys are wondering how I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm doing freaking fantastic. Alrighty, so now we're here, and if we talk to this lady right here, he's like, Oh, Draven! I'm sorry with, uh, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a, a secret in exchange for this. And we get ourselves a C dot doll. C dot doll. That's a fun, fun way to say. Now let's see. Oh, Draven. You want to organize your boxes in the PC more efficiently, efficiently don't you? Yes, ma'am. That's what I thought. How I arrived at the conclusion is a simple deductive process. Just look, uh, just because you looked to, or you took the trouble to talk to me, then please wait for uh, for a while. And after talking for a while, she's clicking on her computers and she's like, it's done. I set up organized boxes at the top of the menu. If you want to return to normal, please talk to me again. So remember how in the, the PC boxes you either push withdraw, deposit, and then organize? Well, now that's all the way on the top right there. And, uh, that's very, very good for all of us right there, too, because, uh, well, we, I'm, I'm pretty sure every single one of you guys uses, uh, what was it? Organize the box just a little, because it's more, it's a little bit easier right here. Now, let's see. I'm gathering batteries so I can win a Pokemon contest. If you'd like, i share one with you. And here we have a Nenab berry. Nice, Nenab. Now, there are plenty of Pokemon right here that you can actually capture. I have my eye on quite a few. Yeah, my eye on quite a few Pokemon and all that crud. Uh, I did mention in the last few episodes that I will start uh, capturing a lot more Pokemon off screen uh, by the end of this whole uh, this whole thing. We'll see what happens, but as of right now, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just doing the walkthrough videos right here. I don't know, I'm just doing what I do what feels right. I do what feels right right here, guys. And uh, well, here we, they come out with Gaia. Or Gaia and Raiden versus Azumarill and a Roselia. So I got the right kind of the Pokemon for this one right here. So let's go right ahead and use a Volt Switch on Azumarill. And uh, let's go with Confusion onto Roselia right here. So here we go. Volt Switch. T 
takes care of Azumarill, and uh, well, there goes my, <laughs> there goes my, uh, my Raiden right there. So let's go right ahead and switch it out with Sage of the Halo. That way we can have a little bit more of an advantage right here. And here we go, Confusion Attack, and uh, nearly takes him out right there. And here comes that Aqua Tail that we're worried about, not really, and uh, takes a good chunk out of my Gaia. So let's see, actually no, let's go ahead and use that Leaf Blade on Azumarill and finish this guy off with a little bit of Confusion. So here we go, Confusion, or no, Leaf Blade for the win, that's how you do it. And uh, well, a little more experience points right there, and Sage is at level 33 and it's finally learning Slam. Hmm, let's see. I'm not a... Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep the same moves right now. Don't need slam. Eventually, I'll learn a little bit better moves, and I can reteach it any time. And, uh, well, Raiden grows to level 26, which is great, too. And Zigzags, we still have them. And it's learning a new move, Kavet, which I'm not teaching it because... Not using that Pokemon. Maybe in the last episode, yeah. That was, that was out of anger right there that was so much out of anger as you can see we defeated uh, the the whole team and look at that Gaia the fierce knight grows to level 27 hell yeah oh yeah and Vesuvius growing levels just mooching off don't worry guys Vesuvius did not ruin my team dynamic at all it's not like that Starmie incident ain't that right now as much as I would like to capture these Pokemon right here, I'm going to save that for later on. I'm just going to be battling everybody right here. I believe there's an item right here, right? Actually, yes. Found ourselves a Carbos right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, continue on right here. I see you, I see you, but I'm not going to capture you. It's going to be off screen. So let's see. Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm going to take a risk right here. I'm going to be using Vesuvius and... Uh, Hopefully he doesn't screw me over. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. Want to battle against my Pokemon? Maybe. Alrighty, here we go. Another battle going up against Pokemaniac Steve, and he will be coming out with his Auron. So I probably chose correctly right here. So let's go with Vesuvius. Let's get it, Vesuvius. Okay, here we go. I do have the moves for it. I do have Magnitude. So let's see if he gives you a... Oh, there we go. Magnitude 9. And... That takes out Auron. Finally, you're winning. Oh, crud. He has Sturdy. And... Uh, it... Why do you have to take it away from my Vesuvius, man? Come on! Okay. There's a Trace. Keeping that Sturdy. And uh, here we go with the Magical Leaf. Because Auron is technically still a Rock-type Pokemon. And bam, there you go. Auron has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, all right. And that's a and, and we defeated a, a Steve right here. Alrighty, okay. Now let's see. Okay, so we do have the Pokemon that uses Rock Smash. We're gonna be doing this right now. Uh, off screen. Actually, in the last not in the last episode, but uh, two episodes ago. We we actually got taught how to how to make uh, secret bases. Now, since we did that, or since we actually got that, we are actually enabled to actually find the secret bases through the little uh, news screen right here. So that that right there, like if you guys see me find secret bases, it's gonna be great, very very uh, very very great right here. And uh, well, there's a lot of secret bases around this area right here. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Her girlfriend's right there. She's like, you guys are... Where are you taking the professor? Hey, wait up! Oh, damn. So she is in such a hurry right there. Okay, here we go. Camping's fun! You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell sto sc spooky stories. But the best of, all of, uh, best of all are the Pokemon battles. Now, I've never really been to a camping trip with Pokemon battles. Maybe, maybe with like the Game Boy, Game Boy Advances and all that stuff, but I don't, think, I don't think I've ever been like that. And here we go with Vesuvius. Alright, don't let me down, because you are not you, like, come on man, you gotta win. And here comes a switcheroo. Ah, oh, jeez. Soft sand, and here we go with the magnitude, number seven. 
And that takes care of... Oh, no, it didn't take care of him. So let's go with the bulldoze right here. It's basically the same thing. Bulldoze... Me, uh, or magnitude and earthquake. All the same thing right there. Look at that. Easy stuff. Although, bulldoze does lower the speed. So that that, that right there is... Uh, that kind of just like... Uh, took away like from my uh, whatchamacallit uh, <laughs> from my logic right there and actually he's coming out with the Volbeat so I'm gonna stay put with right here with the Vesuvius look at that Volbeat at first I actually thought it was an electric type Pokemon but then again it wasn't I wish it would could have been a good one all right struggle bug not that much here we go ah crud okay so that would have done me uh, that would have did me a little bit better but Ah, oh, crud. Here we go with a quick attack, and uh, this is where it all starts right here. Getting my butt kicked by a freaking bug-type Pokemon, and uh, that move is pretty impressive right now. And uh, here we go again with another quick attack. Okay, here we go. Flame Burst for the win. And that right there is the end of it. Okay, and uh, oh, look at that. Vesuvius grows to level 22. Three levels in one episode, that's cool. And it's learning uh, Lava Plume. I do real. I do remember that it's a pretty inaccurate move, right? Hold on. No, it's actually a very, very powerful move. Hold on just a second. Uh... Okay, so you know what? I am going to give it... I'm going to take away Bulldoze, because really? <laughs> Magnitude and Bulldoze, it's the same thing. Plus, I do have Bulldoze uh, as a TM, so it's never going to go away. And... Uh... You know, I can always teach it every single time, so really, I'm doing it a favor right there. So, let's go ahead and move on right here. Actually, there's a little something I need to do. Hold on just a sec, guys. Okay, so I needed to go to the restroom. My bad, guys. So, let's continue on our adventure right here. As you can see, there are big craters right here. And, uh, well, I already got an item right there where that happens to be like a carbose or something. You're, you're going to find a few berries or no, not vitamins right here. Now, here we have another gentleman. He's like, if you're lighting a campfire or setting off fireworks, make sure you have water handy. This guy's pretty safe. This guy's a true camper right here. No, he's a Kindler. His name is Bernie, not Bernie Mac, and he will be coming out with the Slugma. It's actually a good Pokemon to actually have, too, but it's very, very slow, just like a real slug right here. And, uh, yeah, I chose incorrectly with the Pokemon, but you know what? I'm still going to battle this guy right here. So let's go, Sage of the Halo. Look at that, Quick Attack does its thing, and, uh, the hell is that? The hell was that? I don't even know what the hell that was. Okay, so let's go with another Quick Attack and see if that actually does it. Slugma defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. It's gonna come out with a Wingle, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And, uh, let's go with Lord Raiden, and, uh, we kick it some, uh, some ash right now. Hmm. Let's go Raiden. Now, let's see. There are some Pokemon I haven't captured that I kind of want to use. You know, Claymore is one of them. Yeah, I kind of want to fully evolve that guy because in this generation, well, yeah, this generation, this game right here, you can actually mega evolve it and it just, it, it's just a tank. It's a goddamn unit. And look at that. Raiden grows to level 26. Awesome. And uh, we defeated Birdie Mac right here. That's awesome. Great. And, uh, oh, damn. Lord Raiden is evolving. Okay, alrighty. So, it took us a little bit of work, but we finally did it. And, uh, as many of you guys would already know, in Pokemon Emerald, I kind of replaced the uh, Lord Raiden with new Cybar, our Absol, and then used him in Pokemon Platinum. Chances are I might keep this guy on my team, but look at that, Mainetric. Looks like a goddamn freaking beast. It's a wonderful beast right there. So, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon right here. Uh, let's see. Where you are, Raiden? There you go. Okay, so, Lord Raiden right here. Lightning Rod still has it. Electro-type moves. Boost up this special attack right here. And, actually, his attack... Actually, his best uh, attribute right here is his speed. But it is a very, very good special attacker. So, any kind of special electric attack, you know, it will work. It'll definitely work. Now, let's see... What are we looking at right here? Oh, there's a there's a hiker right there. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to use a... Yeah. If there's any hidden items right here. Nope, there's not. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What should I do? 
You know what? Let's keep Sage of the Halo right there since it is a rock climber or a mountain, mountain man, or whatever he is. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have any water type attacks right here? No, I don't have any water type attacks, so we're just gonna have to stay put right here. Eventually, I will teach my Hydra water type attack or two. And here we have this guy. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Okay, whatever you say. Here we go. Going up against Hiker Lucas, and he will be coming out with his Geodude. Okay, Geodude. Bring it. Just bring it, homeboy. Bring it. Okay, so let's go with the Leaf Blade. It's signature move. Now, if there was ever a signature move for a starter Pokemon, it would be this. Leaf Blade to, uh, to Trico, uh, Grovile, and uh, uh, Sceptile. That's right. And look at that. Zigzags is gaining levels without doing anything. That's awesome. <laughs> It's gonna be our strongest HM slave ever. And it's all thanks to that whole uh, experience here right here. Remember, Generation 7, I think? 6 or 7? I think. Wait, wait. Yeah, this is Generation 6. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon grow levels quickly. Like, stupid quickly. Like, how my, my Mexican friends would say, es stupid quickly. That is not even racial right there. That is the truth. I've been called that quite a few times. Because good old Draven right here, he's pretty stupid. Very, very stupid. And, uh, well, there we go. We defeated H uh, Hiker Lucas. And we got to move on right here. Okay, so let's see. There's uh, another rock right there. And a uh, big-ass crater right here. Now, my biggest, uh, kind of my, like, my biggest complaint is that they never really put a storyline behind this big-ass crater. It's just a big-ass crater. That's it. And uh, here we have another hiker. Yoda like, hey, who? You have to shout your little who too, or since it doesn't echo here. Okay. I've never done that before. Here we go. Lenny of the Simpsons coming out, and he will be coming with his Machop. I did capture a Machop off screen, and I called him. What did I call him? What did I. Oh, I called him Hulk. Yes, I called that Pokemon Hulk. Hmm. I did call him Hulk. That is a good Pokemon. And uh, look at that. Machop. Has no chance whatsoever with my my leaf blade right there. So, look at that, easy. And Sage grows to level 32 or 34, and uh, well, Lanny of the Simpsons, not so happy. So funny how I'm like getting all these guys' names. And uh, well, let's see, something fishy about this spot? Yeah. Okay, so here we are in uh, Meteor Falls. Now we can actually go to Rustboro right through here, but. I think we're gonna have to save that for a little bit later. So before we do anything, let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and use a repel because uh, we don't want to get attacked by any of the Pokemon. Even though there are some pretty cool Pokemon here, still don't want to get attacked. So let's go right up here, and there will be an item, and we found ourselves our full heal. Nice, very very nice. And uh, well, let's go right down ahead right here and. Look at that, our girlfriend right here. She's like, give it up, you bozos. Let the professor go. Huh? What do we have here? Why, has this child suddenly appeared? Draven, you came. We've got to save Professor Cosmo from these people. They, there are two of them, and the two of us. Draven, please battle together with me. Whatever you say, baby, I'm right there. Thanks a mil. Alrighty. This guy right here, he's like, ah, <laughs> isn't this amusing? Is it really your intention to oppose me? Hey, Team, Ra hey, Team Magma Admin, just the two of you? Yep. Hmm, very well. I'll show you how terrifying adults can be. Actually, uh, it's life that's terrible, not adults. I'm going to give you some uh, very thorough coaching. Not if I give it to you first, right? This'll be my first time battling beside you, Draven. I've got to do my best. Oh, don't worry, babe. I got you here. Let's do this. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay, so our first double battle. And look at that. I like the graphics of this. We are challenged by the Team Magma Grunts and, uh, and Tabitha. Who names a man? Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to go there. I will not go there. Tabitha is a girl's name. Can't be a unisex name. Is it a unisex name? Comment down below. I don't know. And uh, look at that. Intimidate on both of us right here. And, uh, well, this should be easy right here. I'm going to be flexing my muscles. I'm going to be using that leaf blade onto Mightyena. Look at that. Oh, yes. 
Leaf Blade does its thing. And this guy, using Swagger and going to confuse that Whalmer. I want to know where she captured that Whalmer. She's probably hiding some stuff from you. And, uh, well, that's a little too late right there for the Mist attack. And, uh, well, there's a self-destruct. And more than likely, well, okay, Wilmer did survive this one. It is a pretty tanky Pokemon, but that Pokemon right there just did a stupid thing. Something is stupid. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this with a quick attack. Should be easy, right? Here we go. Quick attack for the win. Suck it, my Idiota. And uh, there goes my Idiota. So, let's go with another... Uh, few experience points and Vesuvius growing levels like crazy but unfortunately Whalmer is still confused hurting itself okay so here he comes with a Numel well a useful Numel I should say and uh, well I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon right here let's go with Hydra number two my other strong Pokemon right here I think it's like right after the fifth gym I would like to think it's right after the fifth gym where you're like you are enabled to do a lot more than just uh, than just train and, and and worry about your leveling up Pokemon. I think your Pokemon will be like super strong by then. And here comes that Water Pulse, and uh, that takes care of that. See, greatest team ever, better than me and Barry, that's for sure. And uh, look at that, Tabitha has been defeated. So strong, huh? That's right, we got a lot of money. We in the money. We kicked your ass. Huh, unexpected development. We did it, Draven. Yes, we did, babe. You children, I would like you to stay out of my way. Team Magma's scientific prowess, Mount Chimney's energy, and the hidden power of the meteorite. If we combine them all, a super ancient Pokemon. Wah! <laughs> you lost to the scamp? What a pathetic bunch! You lazy stooges will uh, be the downfall of Team Magma. Uh-oh. Who, who's there? I love this song right here. Oh, damn. Sounds like the Death Star or freaking Star Wars. Oh, yeah. That's right. Aren't you coming to the ring weighing in at 215 pounds? Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Even Team Aqua is making an appearance. The odds do not appear in my favor. You there. I'll have to me I'll have the meteorite now. Yes, sir. And she just swipes it out of him. Come on now. Hand over the meteorite. Oh no. Professor! Uh-oh. And uh well, quick. Very, very quick with her hands. <laughs> the meteorite is in the palm of my hand. Well, well, well. Adios to each and every one of you. At long last, I'm off to Mount Chimney. Oh, damn. Uh, Archie, we will go to... We will go after those monsters. That's right. We're not letting them get away. Oh, damn. Oh, oh damn. He's looking at me right here. That's right. Big Pippin right here. I'm not gonna back down. Oh, what's this? You've got quite a, a fierce expression on you for such a wee little thing. My name is Archie. I'm the leader of Team Aqua, a group that's working uh, to the to the return of the world uh, to a pristine state. One one that will perfect uh, perfect uh, perfect the Pokémon's survival. Looks like you were getting into into it with Team Magma there. Lest my eyes deceive me. It's not like I'm in a position to argue if that's what you are up to, hey? But I'll tell you this much. So remember, if, if you next get in the way of Team Aqua, you won't get off so lightly. So steer clear and keep your nose clean, Scamp. I imagine I'll be seeing you. Wow! <laughs> oh, damn. Whatever you say, man. Still flipping you off. I'm going to still kick your butt. That's right. Giving him the death stare right here. Oh, bother. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Never mind those nuts. What? What? Never mind those nuts, Professor. You do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> May actually said that. Never mind those nuts, Professor. You doing okay? But they. I only. Oh man, I can't stop laughing. Holy crap. Looks like they. Looks like he's pretty out of it. Draven. 
Never mind what's happened. I've got to go get the professor back to his lab in Far Arbor. Okay, professor. Easy now. Okay, alrighty, okay. And, uh, well, we're leaving this place and, uh, well, it looks pretty nice. And, uh, well, what happens after this? Oh, yes. We're back here. And, uh, well, let's see. He's a little, he's a little torn apart right now because of the meteorite. Ah, Professor! Thank the stars above! Professor, you're back! <laughs> Thanks to these children, I somehow returned. Those nuts back there. Again? <laughs> Those nuts back there. What do you think they're hoping to do with the Professor's meteorite? From the look of them, they kind of seem like bad guys, but we got to be, uh, we both got to be careful. Though I'm not worried a bit if it's uh, you and your team, Draven. But I need to thank you as well. You truly saved my, uh, saved me from disaster. I hope you take this TM as a small form of repayment. And look at that. TM23 layeth the smack it down on their candy asses. That's right. Well, thanks, Professor. Well, are you, where are you going? Uh, where are you gonna go do next, Draven? I'm thinking of checking out the next gym on my list. It's the one uh, in Malville City. Why don't you come with me, Draven, to Malville? Oh, I've already been there, but going back to Malville will actually, yeah, it will actually save us some time to get back to or go to Mount Chimney. So yeah, right on. Let's hit the road. We're yeah, we're riding right here, and look at that. Back to Malville City, and, uh, well, up, uh, up ahead here is Mount Chimney, huh? That's the place uh, those nut jobs at Meteor Falls were talking about uh, going to. Be careful, Draven. It might get dangerous around here. Whatever you say, baby girl. Whatever you say. Okay, so that was a good adventure right there. Uh, not a lot of lagginess. Just a little bit. I did not say, uh, excuse the lagginess and all that crud, but there will be some lagginess, my bad. And, uh, yeah, well, in the next episode, we will be going to Mount Chimney. And uh, we will be taking care of some issues right over there. You know, Team Magma, Team Aqua, and all that crud. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>